What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one, okay? Here to deliver you this message. One of those messages being that abundance is your motherfucking birthright, okay? Just doing a little spritzer, spritzer here, spritzer, spritzer there. Some of my lotions and potions and oils and whatnot. I hope that you are doing well. Today is Sunday, September 1st. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not know, now you know it's time for you to go blow cinnamon out your door, okay? <laughs> or through your door, actually. Through your door, okay? Cinnamon, put in the palm of your hand, some ground cinnamon, blow it through your door three times, not three separate times, the same, out of the same pile in your hand, okay? You're going to blow three times. You can say a prayer, incantation, whatever you would like. And this is to bring abundance into your home and prosperity. Um, I highly recommend doing it on a monthly basis. Monthly basis. It only increases the potency of a spell, ritual, <clears throat> or ceremony when it's done more than, more than once. Okay? That's for somebody. Anyways, let's get into the cards. <laughs> Let's get into the cards. You know what? I need to see, because uh, I did shuffle before this. Let me make sure there's no reversals. I do read reversals. If you if you know already on my channel, I do say this all the time, but I do read reversals. It's I'd just rather it come out based off of intention instead of probability. If there's a tarot reader that does this differently than I do, that does not mean that their gift is not divine. Okay? We only fix other people's crowns on this channel. All right? I highly recommend you only... Fuck with those who do the same. All right. Highly recommend. In all in all forms. Coworker, all of that. I don't see no reversal. So we're good. Shuffle up a little bit more. Send me all your good vibes. What you what you try? What do you need to know? What do you need to know? I'm gonna do a poll soon, actually, I think, just to ask people what they would like um a reading on um in general. Just to get a vibe. Um, because I do pick up what you guys have, but I'm heavy on interaction with 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 y'all so it doesn't hurt to get some feedback from you some of you might have something oddly specific you want to put in the comments almost like a prayer request but it's a terror request and you're like can you please tell me about it so so again feel free to when i put that out all right i love you all so much you've given me so much appreciation on this channel as soon as we hit 10,000, i'm giving away um a free reading every month on the full moon to a subscriber all right <clears throat> thank you angels ancestors and guides for this message that we are about to receive for the pisces collective sun moon rising and venus sun moon rising and venus venus <laughs> to whom i am a part of but this reading i am not that's too many cards that's like six cards sorry I only need four or three more cards. Three more cards. Thank you. Wow. Something's going in your favor. You worried about something? Oh, of course you are, right? Who isn't worried about something? Especially with these goddamn prices out here. Fuck. Anyways, hold it for story. <laughs> hold it for story. Oh, really? Honestly. Hierof yes, there is something that's going to... There's something that's going to go in your favor. Listen, oh, you know how I always how I always check the energy because these are the cards, right? So I I go on the bottom to look at the energy. It was flipped, and I have the moon card and the the three of swords. That's different. Okay, well I'm I I want to show both of these, and I feel like the three of swords might be significant to that's wild i flipped it y'all saw that huh i'm just gonna sit it next to it okay so your first card out is the ten of wands then we have the justice card after that is the hierophant then your fourth card came out as two cards and it was the emperor reversed and the the ace of coins reversed okay crossing this energy you saw already what just happened so really what it was meant to be was this um was the pisces card and it was flipped upside down facing this three of of swords which is not the true energy but i do feel like this is some sort of call it side energy if you want so because i have yet to read the message yet i'm just telling you the cards okay all right so 
some kind of cycle that you were in. You coming out of something victorious. Let me tell you something. This might, so one of you might need to hear this. One of you might need to hear this, that it, as far as a court decision or something that needs to go in your favor, it, whether this is spiritual court or this is physical court, like you, like literally the courthouse, okay? Could be a custody battle, could be child support, could be litigation, could be workers' compensation, it could be anything. But whatever this cycle is, there's an overarching, um, there's, a, there's an oversight, okay? And it's the justice card and the hierophant. These are the, the cards in the deck when it comes to authority figures. This is authority. This is the balancing scales of the court system. This is the oversight of your spiritual, in the spiritual realm. I mean, this is literally, I mean, looks kind of like a Pope situation, right? Um, whether you identify with Catholicism or not. Um, this is like a Pope and then you have, you know what I mean? People are praying and seeking guidance. Their, over, their oversight is is valued. How they view you, your, your, how, uh, your ethics, your morals are being weighed. Do you understand? And you also have something with the courts. There's something going on with you. There's a struggle that you're about to come out of, baby. You're needing to hear this because you need to hear about the victory that's about to come. Because I, I get it. You are tired. You are broken. And you are weary. If this is about someone in particular, this means that they're not going to receive the money that you are, that they're trying to get. And this could be male or female. Okay. And especially if they're an Aries then the emperor that's rather whether it's female or male then the emperor card's going to come out because it's aries right um but this is about them not gaining the upper hand there is someone else that i, I guess tried to get the upper hand only you would know i'm not in your life i'm not a mind reader i'm a fucking tarot reader okay so we got the this is about them getting the upper hand this person and this came out reversed and again, in between, so now I'm going to show you the cards together. It's just your fourth card came out as two cards, and I only got so many fingers, all right? <laughs> I only got so many fingers. Did I clean all the paint off of my fingers? Maybe not. I don't know. Sorry. I had a lot of paint on my... I, I try and clean my nails before I... I don't give a fuck anymore. Because <laughs> I've been doing so much creative shit. Anyways. Uh, oh, maybe that's for somebody. Maybe you need to be doing more creative stuff. Like I even, I, I, I've been doing so much creative stuff for like the past almost two months. I haven't even got my nails done. Like I've just been so, I don't know, I've just been enjoying it. Anyways, you need to do that side note. Um, but you're coming out of a message. I mean, out of a message, out of, um, I'm coming out of a message. Um, you're coming out of a cycle with this 10 of wands. That's what I'm talking about. And there's something that you're going to have victory over. Whatever it is that's troubling you, I need you to know you are going to win over this. We have the... The moon card, this is so, re this is representative of Pisces in the tarot deck. This is the number one card for Pisces, okay? And it was facing this. Okay, here's the thing about the moon card. Okay, let's just take the Pisces aspect out of the moon card. The thing about this is that this also represents things that are unseen. And it seems that Pisces, you were able to not see what was going on. And I think something has been troubling you. Something's been really burdening you where you can't even see past it. Like you're just so burdened by something. Whatever this is has really taken you over. This might have to do with, I mean, it's, if it's anything having to do with the courts, right? It's going to, it could even be a conviction. Maybe, maybe you were caught doing some, you know, maybe you were caught driving without something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> dead ass maybe he was driving dirty you know what i mean and and but there there's things like even that that and and there's some of you that are learning your ways that are not learning you have learned your ways and so that's why you're being weighed in spiritual court because even though you might have not had the funds to get a lawyer or or the ability to 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 do this on your own the you, the effort that you made, the effort that you've made to try and 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 get to wherever you need to get. I don't know if that's out of debt. I don't know if again this, the get your child having to do with custody. If they're gonna have to show that, hey, listen, I I, I might not have this amazing ho this huge house and stuff, but I love my child and I've been there and I'm consistent. And 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 the other parent they might they have more financially than me, but 
I'm the one that's here. I'm consistent. It's uh, they, they. I'm the one. You know, it's it's something about. Do you understand? Like, you might not have the means, but your heart and your path, like it's you're so pure of heart, and you've. I'm telling you, spiritual court. There's something about this, and also physical court. If you're if you're if you're facing anything with that, you're gonna win. And if you're facing a, a divorce. There's, there are a lot of you that I'm telling you, you are going to win. It's not even going to, some of you are, it's not even just going to that be that you win. It's going to completely turn around in your favor kind of shit. Like where you're going in to defend yourself and the judge is going to be like, actually, upon reviewing both of your stories, it's that person that owes Pisces. Do you understand? It's going to be something like that. Like it's going to be huge. So this thing that's weighing heavily on you. Um, and we're 10 minutes in and this is just the first message. This is for some reason coming out for someone that needs to hear this. You know, God is trying to speak to you because this is something burdening you. This is something heavy. This is probably the only distraction in your life right now. And, and I don't know what it is. Only you know, Pisces, specifically what this could be in your life. But when I tell you that you are coming out of this. When I tell you that you are being brought out of this, that you, it is being demanded in both courts, in physical court and in spiritual court, and that whoever it is that is trying to come against you and take away your blessings is going to be judged, is going to be weighed and found wanting. I kid you not. And this, this flipping the way it did was extremely serendipitous to the message as far as you not being able to see this and be in tune into because Pisces you're kind of like a like a you are a little bit of a fortune teller you are a little bit of a fortune te teller there's there's a lot of you that you see things in visions premonitions just your feelings it's almost like you can immediately get a glimpse of the future by just thinking about what if and then there's a vibe there connected to it and if the string don't hum then you don't go to it and maybe some of you guys need that message to know what it feels like if you don't know how to tap into your to your to your intuition. If I'm telling you, if there's a string, if there's a if there's a pull, that's your intuition talking. Now listen if it hums. If it don't hum, don't do it. Don't be dumb. <laughs> Anyways, so this is something that's been burdening you. Okay, so is there anything else that Pisces needs to know regarding this? Or does this need to be a quick message? I'm wondering. I want to keep out this 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 moon card because this is something that you don't see. And you're not able to see past the burden and the weight of what this could cost you. Because you're you're seeing this. You're seeing this. And you're just like, fuck. And I'm telling you right now, it's not going to happen. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to happen. I have, I'm holding back tears. Like I don't want to break. <laughs> I'm holding back tears because I, I'm feeling someone's energy strong this morning and I don't know who you are, but I am praying over you and I'm praying over this situation and I speak guidance and reverence over you. And that you humble yourself and that whatever it is, any loose ends that you need to tie up to go ahead and allow this bow to be bigger, do it. Okay? Because the universe is trying to, your God is trying to, do you understand? There's a great work being done in your life right now. And I, and I think you understand a lesson being learned from this because there is something in this where there is something standing out for you where like... Damn, I did fuck up there or I slipped up there or I shouldn't have done that or I should have done this or I should have caught up on this date or this. You know what I mean? There's something there. And so now you've learned from that. Again, these things are being weighed. They're in your favor. So I have um, just on the board, just so you know, I have Libra, Taurus and um, Aries. Strong. Male or female, strong. And we do have Pisces, but I do feel that it's strongly representative of you. OK, if you need something to go in your favor um, and, and, and you truly walk in, in righteousness, I, I highly recommend that you pray. You speak to your team. 
If you would like to contact me about anything that go look, if go ahead and look in the description. If there's anything, any of my services that you that you feel guided to, go ahead and do it. But there's nothing that ain't gonna beat prayer. Okay, your spirit connecting with your team is something more powerful than anything else you could ever try and connect with, including tarot. Do it. Go to the water, Pisces. Go to the water. And at the very least, if you can, if you got a backyard, you better go out in that backyard barefoot and go stand there real quick in the grass. Do you understand? There's things that need to be done here. This message came out for somebody. If you need a personal reading, feel free to reach out. But there, I do extend a lot of prayer over you. Is there anything else that Pisces needs to know? Maybe be focused on? What does Pisces need to be focused on or any advice here? What does Pisces need to be focused on? What is the advice here? These came out first. Yes. Okay, so the advice here. Let's get let's get one more card. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm still gonna keep this Pisces card out because it, it needs to stay out for a reason. Okay, listen. You are going to get through this. When you get through this, you are going to be given a bone of some sort. I don't know what that bone is. You better take that fucking bone. Do you understand that? Because you're not only going to be victorious, but there is something. Remember how I said that there's something that you didn't tie up? Some sort of loose end that I encourage you to tie up now. Maybe a payment that needs something. Whatever it is. Okay? You need to tie that up. Because if you don't, that's where it's going to eat you at the end. Because you're going to get past this huge hurdle just for that. Do you understand? Don't do that. I don't see you doing it because I see you, first of all, you, I think you're picking up already. There's Pisces that are not pay, listening to this message right now, y'all, that are still going to get these messages. I'm speaking that over them. These messages are exclusive to y'all, not me. I just hope that you pick up on the divine message here, which is when you are thrown a bone like this. Because you know damn well <laughs> that this is kind of a miracle that you're about to receive. That you need to take it. You need to take it. And you better humble yourself and your spirit. You better not get into no sneaky energy and do something you wasn't supposed to do. Or then not, let, let's say, uh, like, again, if it's courts and, you, and they suddenly say, hey, you know what? It, actually, you don't know none of that, but you do owe this. Just make sure you pay it by that date. Bitch, if you don't pay that, whoo! Do you understand? Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. And I and obviously I'm not speaking any court situation. If this is not for you, it does not fit. It's not for you. This is for someone that it is. This is this is not a message being spoken over anyone as far as you having to endure a situation of the burden of court. That's heavy. That it, I don't care what level of <laughs> of the law it is whether it's civil or criminal i don't family court it doesn't matter it is stressful it is a huge burden it is up there with pregnancy with moving with death with with huge it's a huge life event okay and no wonder this is coming out for some pisces for, for a pisces or multiple pisces out there no wonder because there's this is weighing heavy on on some of y'all okay um, some of y'all, it's been a long time coming, is coming too, or this is a new situation and it's weighing heavy on you. Okay, so let's look at the cards here. And I just read the cards, by the way. What I'm, what I saw, what I, everything I just said was based off of these cards. The six of pentacles is you needing to give. Once you get this bone, do you understand? You, the universe is about to throw you a bone. Do you see the scales? The universe is about to throw you a bone. You better take it. Okay, because right after that is the seven of wands and that is divine energy. That is a seven and you're already coming out of this 10. Okay, so you're not going to have to face this, but you are going to have to face this, which is just simply some hurdles, nothing crazy, but you're going to have to face it and just go ahead and face it alone. I don't know what it is making payments on something, community service, a few days in jail. I don't know, y'all. Having to have a suspended license instead of your full license. I don't know. Please, just please know that I'm not speaking this on you. But whatever the bone is being thrown on you, thrown to you that could have been worse, I need you to take it and I need you to, to really work that out. 
okay? And be thankful. Walk in gratitude. This is this is the energy of you going reverting back to a different energy. Instead of persevering and saying, you know what? Yeah, I am going to take this bone. I'm done with this. I'm not going to have to deal with this situation ever again. If you go back to this, do you understand? Like this is telling me this. That's why I gave you the advice that I did. It was coming from these cards right here. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and then the Seven of Swords. The last card here is the Hangman, Enlightenment. Now this is the Pisces card, but the second in the deck. Remember how this came out first? This is the second in the deck that represents Pisces, right? There's other ones too, but this is number two. Okay. If you were to go back into this energy, you will be hanging yourself and you will do it knowingly. Your crown chakra will be fully lit. You will have done this completely voluntarily. You will have swatted away the, the bone that was given to you. Do you understand? You will have walked away with the swords. And when you are in this tree hanging, you will have no sword to cut yourself down. Uh, don't do that to yourself. Take this bone i don't know what this is that is going to be granted to you let's say let's say let's say it's something even like um spouse support you won you won in divorce court this this toxic ass motherfucker did not get over on you it, not only was it fair but you also received um more than you thought you would right even though you were only going for the just amount the the court side in your favor do not squander that money. Be careful what you do with that money. There's some. Do you understand? There's something about being careful, being thoughtful, better said. Thoughtful, considerate, intentional with the outcome that goes in your favor with the courts. Okay? Crossing this energy is the queen of wands. Is the queen of wands. This is a very cocky, arrogant attitude. Do not do this. This is a warning to not, to not do this, to, to control this, okay? To control this urge to think that, aha, things went in my favor. I'm all good. I am the queen of wands. Mm -mm, don't do that. Stay humble. Ain't got to get humble, okay? Stay humble so you ain't got to get humbled. Don't do that, Pisces. Also, this ain't a flex. This ain't a flex. This ain't a flex. Put Voluntarily putting yourself in fucked up situations and somehow miraculously walking away unscathed is not a flex. You, you put yourself in that situation. <laughs> you are at fault. You should not have done that. Do you understand? For some of you, you need to hear that. Not all of you, but some of you need to hear that. Some of you completely innocent again, and you still need to take consideration into the, the blessing that's going to come. But some of y'all need to hear that. Okay. And, and I, and, and I know right now you're in a humble state of mind, but what will become of you when things go in your favor and your ego comes back? What will become of you? The road to hell is paved with good intentions, y'all. Madonna said it best, and I, I love quoting people on here. <laughs> Madonna said it best, okay? The, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. You uh, People mean well, y'all. I, I meant to do this. It was my intention. to. It's the follow-through that will define you. It is the follow-through that defines people. And you know that to be true based off of the people that you have yourself cast judgment towards rightful judgment but judgment nonetheless okay again if you need a personal reading please feel free to reach out i'm gonna call it here i do wish protection and speak blessing and guidance i i i, I speak prayer over you that you pray the spirit of prayer that it, it flows into you and out of you in a way that manifests this to your benefit and that you you understand very well what this six of coins and this seven means this alignment here being given to you you're being thrown a bone i need you to take it and make something of it make something of it release it relieve yourself of this situation this is not becoming of you this is not befitting of you that is why there is so much divine oversight because this is not befitting of your future of what is what is what is meant for you in this lifetime. This is not, again, 
be fitting. I keep hearing from your spirit team, this does not suit us. We do not like this. That's why we're taking Pisces out of this. But if Pisces goes back, it will be to their own undoing. It won't be because of us. And I'm hearing this from your ancestors, your angels, your spirit team. Some of y'all have passed over loved ones that actively their unfinished business is to help guide you to success. Whether you get there or not, and there's some decisions that you make, people make in their life that for, that can release a, a, past, a past one from, from their unfinished business. You know why? Because you were given an ultimatum. And that Passover loved one is able to now look to the heavens and say, am I done here? Because as you can see, I tried. And they can be released. Regardless, that's why I say the choices that you make are yours. It, it, it makes the environment around you. It's up to you. You can't just wish upon a star and think this not. It's so much deeper than that. If that's what you think this is, it's not. It's not. It's deeper than that. Walk in righteousness. Walk in gratitude above all. Okay? I love you. Bye.